want to go back up there. Let's see if we can make it over to this um, this other building. Okay, yeah, we'll go back in. Ooh, I'll take this jet that I missed before. Oh, there's other stuff here. Oh, I'm glad I came back in. Um, Wonder glue. I'll take that. Camera. Wonder glue. Nice. Okay. Okay, back out here. I just want to see if um, we could make it to that building with the hole in it, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, that's a pretty far jump! Damn it! Okay, never mind. I was gonna try to jump onto this building and then jump up in there, but um, I don't think we could have done that anyway. That's what I'm going with. Couldn't have done it anyway. I'm just kinda like running around here like there's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, we're going this direction. This is where we're supposed to be going anyway. Milk. Hmm. Do we go in here? What's this all about? Bunker Hill. Oh boy. Who's this guy? Huh. No, he's not a bad guy. Put our weapon away. Caravan worker. What's this place? How's it going? Excuse me. Okay, so this is Bunker Hill. Kessler. Uh, you there. Caravan or raider? Uh what? I'm just me. I'm here on my own. Freelance, <laughs> huh? Alright. Come on in, but no gunfire. I'm already in. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. I'm here on my own. Worst what? part of being a lookout in the obelisk? Forgetting your lunch. Yeah, I know, I, I know what you mean. Not really. Okay, so it would be stealing to take anything from here. Where's she going? So, we found Bunker Hill. Well, let's see what's going on up here. I guess it's just some kind of lookout. Where traders hang out, apparently. Uh, what's going on over here? Hey, Edward Deegan. <coughs> You there. We need to have a conversation. Why is that? Do I know you? Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. Okay, uh, what's the job? What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. Hmm... Sure. I live for danger. I live for I danger. I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Okay. Uh, special delivery. Talk to Jack Cabot. Special delivery. I was offered a job from a ghoul named Edward Deegan. If I'm interested, I need to travel to Cabot House in downtown Boston and talk to someone named Jack Cabot. Alright, well, we'll get to that eventually. I'm not going to do it right now. So I can't take anything from here. It would all be stealing. Hey. Oh, no. Trash can Carla. Deb. <coughs> Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need, and sell everything you do. Hmm, your store? This your store? Uh, yeah, you got it. Caravans come through here. I buy whatever they don't want, fix it up, and sell the good stuff to the next caravan. But hey, no reason I can't sell to a drifter like you. Caps are caps. Bunker Hill? What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Well, it's nice enough. Grew up with the caravans, so I feel right at home here. Don't like how we have to pay Raiders protection money, but that's the cost of doing business in the middle of everywhere. Speaking of which, I got a lot of useful supplies here that need a home. Look at them. So lonely. 
Protection money? You give raiders protection money? Yep. Surprised me a Kessler managed to pull that off, but she's convincing that Bunker Hill is worth more alive than dead. I hate that we don't stand up to him, but what can we do? We're caravan folk, not an army. Hmm, anything new? Anything new in the store? Same old, same old. Take a look for yourself. Yeah, maybe I will, maybe I won't. You have any paying work? Yeah, I have something. It ain't easy, though. Caravan is just love swapping tall tales. But I've heard one story enough times, there's got to be some truth to it. Apparently, the northern road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls. And that's cutting into my bottom line. So you take care of that, and maybe I can throw a few caps your way. <laughs> I already did it. I already cleared the National Guard training yard. Well, I'll be. Take this, then. You might want to talk with Kessler, by the by. She's looking for someone like you. 150 bottle caps added. Nice. Could get real comfortable in a place like this. Really, Piper? Seriously? A place like this? <clears throat> Welcome back. Looking to trade? Well, let's see what she's got. I've got a few minutes to browse. See something you like? Buy it. My stock moves fast. Does it now? Hmm. Yeah. You know, she's got some stuff. She's got a lot of stuff, actually. But, uh, holy cow, she's got a ton of stuff. Am I interested in it? No. The stuff is too expensive, man. Who's this guy? Hello? I'm Old man Stockton. I don't know. People gotta do something, Dad. When did you start to care about sense? It's not that. The railroad is the only one standing up to the Institute. So Gary's wife, kidding me. That settlement Lucas Miller was talking about? Wiped out. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm Stockton. You've heard of old man Stockton, yes? Oh, that's it? Stockton. I run three caravans that travel throughout the Commonwealth. Oh, okay. Well, nice talking to you, I guess. Who's this? A caravan worker. All right, let's see what's up with these guys. Oh, there was a guy sitting here. Where'd he go? Hey, you. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. Uh, what's the railroad? What's the railroad? The Freedom Fighters. Willing to risk their lives for synths. And that means they fight the Institute. Only ones that do. What? You think that's noble or some bullshit? That just makes them idiots. No son of mine is going to throw his life away with those lunatics. Hmm. Well, I already know what synths are, but let's see what they have to say about them. And what are synths? Synthetic people made by the Institute. Look so human you can't tell them from us. They're monsters is what they really are. And how do you know that? Have you ever met one? If you can't tell who's a synth or not, they can't be all that bad. Well, I think we should try to help others. It's always good to help people. I have no problem helping people. Synths, though? All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands. No offense. Go blind off rock gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save synths? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation <laughs> Society. So what did the Institute do? What did the Institute do to you? Ah, oh, Gary. He is, well, was, one of Cricket's hired guns. He hits the road and comes back to find his wife missing. Yeah, so the Institute kidnaps people. I'm not saying I like it, but the world's a dangerous place. It's not your job to save it. And dealing with the railroad, the Institute. Might as well put a bullet in your own damned skull. It'll just save you time. Sense of the enemy, saving sense is noble, and want service. What the hell does that mean? So I'm going to pick it. I wouldn't mind getting some service here. <laughs> Where are my manners? If you want a drink, talk to me. Need a bed? Well, hit up Numbskull over there. All right. I don't really need anything. I just kind of wanted to get out of that conversation. I didn't want to decide right then and there whether sense are evil or noble. Hi. Need a roof over your head? Only place in town. Really? Motel? Is this some kind of motel? I prefer the term flop house, but don't tell my pa that. Gets him mad. When caravans pull into town, they need a place to sleep. So we ran out all the beds we can. So did you want one? Uh, how many caravans? How many caravans come through here? All of them. 
They kind of own the whole town, but money still has to change hands, so they know which caravan owes what. Bunker Hill is one big money-makes-the-world-go-round kind of place. Raider problem? Pay him off. Supply problem? Buy more. Charge more. Hey, weren't we talking about you renting a room? You need one? Bribes? So Bunker Hill just buys its way out of problems? It's all they know. Caravan folk are money folk. And all the people who settled here retired from the caravans. Now that doesn't mean a Bunker Hill boy doesn't know how to sling a gun. But why waste the bullets if you can buy your way out of trouble for less? Hey, did you want that room or not? Uh, no, I, I don't actually. I can sleep pretty much anywhere. Not interested. Might want to hit Paul for a drink before you go. Uh, I don't think I want to do that either. Ooh, a safe. Steal from. <laughs> well, Piper's having a drink. Who's this guy? Caravan worker. There's Deegan again. So here's the beds. So yeah, it is pretty floppy. I can see why he calls it a flop house. It's certainly not a hotel. Oh, I fell on the wrong side. <laughs> now what? Now I need to get back in. Yeah, let's take a look around this place. Where are you, Piper? She's like, you big dummy, you go run around outside. I'm staying here and finish my drink. Okay. Bunker Hill. Whoa, what? Huh? Oh, why did my camera just do that? That was weird. Who's this guy? Caravan worker. Trash can Carla. Anything going on back here? Nope. Piper. Well, ooh, I can take this stuff. Cool. I want the bobby pin and the wonder glue and the gas canister. Mm. What's that for? Come here. Hey. Come here. I want you to carry some stuff for me. I'm going to give you some weapons cuz they're heavy. Uh Yes. I'm going to give you all this stuff. Thanks, Piper. And then we'll give her um, this other stuff that I'm not wearing. Boy, I've picked up a lot of crap, man. <laughs> Thanks, Piper. I appreciate it. Caravan worker. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's Bunker Hill. We are still working our way in this general direction. Who's this? What's up, Kay? Huh. Haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. No, I'm good. You're a doctor? So, you're a doctor? Veterinarian, actually. And don't give me that look. Bones get set the same way whether you got two or four of them. So let's talk about you and what kind of help you need. Veterinarian? You're a veterinarian? I'm an old caravan girl, okay? You learn to take care of the animals or you don't have a caravan for very long. Then you get ambushed, a couple of friends and family start bleeding out on the floor, and you learn how to patch a few wounds. You learn triage, too. Satisfied? Now let's talk about what you need patched up. Mm, nah, I'm fine. Not today. Very well. Well, we found a doctor. Not that we'll remember. Look at this, this guy's kind of like sticking to the wall there, it's kind of scary. Who's this? Meg. Hey, pal. Hi, I'm Meg. You mean you to the hill? For ten caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Oh, tour? What's in the tour? All sorts of things. Get a jump on the other traders. Come on, it's just ten caps. Fine, take me on a tour even though I've already looked all the way around sure, the whole place. I'll take the tour. Caps up front. Thank you. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. <laughs> you little piece of crap. Hey. Well, hello. I guess you're from one of the vaults, huh? Yeah, I want my caps Best back. Best not to talk to the raiders. They can get rough. I said, I want my caps back. Oh, you're lucky this woman walked here or you'd be toast. I'm just kidding, I wasn't going to shoot her. 
Well, that um, pretty much covers Bunker Hill. Well, except for this, I guess. Let's see what this is. Wow, how high up does this go? Whoa. Holy cow. Damn. Can't even see now. What the hell? Does this ever end? Oh, okay. Ooh, live in love. Perfect. Permanently gain plus 25% experience points from persuading men. Huh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's useful for us too, right? I guess. Does that help us as well? Let's look at... Ooh, I could take these rounds for some reason. For some reason, if they're on the floor, it's not stealing. But if it's on the table, then it is stealing. That's too bad it's so foggy outside. I can't see anything. Let me see here. Let me look at uh, our stats and our perks. Live in love 7. Well, that's what it says. Gain 25% experience. Oh, we get 25% experience. Doesn't help us persuade them. We just get more experience if we persuade them. I see. This is a pretty tall tower. It's pretty neat. Oh, there you are, Piper. Nice of you to join me. Alright. That's the way we came in. Who's this? Did we talk to this person? Oh, Kessler. That's the first person we talked to. We can harvest corn. And potatoes. For whatever reason, that's not stealing. I don't know why, although she did kind of give us a look. I want more corn. I don't think I've planted corn anywhere yet. Okay. Uh, this direction. Hmm. Whoa. It's looking pretty dangerous out here. See if there's anything in here. Empty milk bottles. No, thank you. I don't need those. This way. Through here, maybe? Oh, gosh. Oh, we're getting close. In this building, maybe. What was that noise? Where's Piper? Did I lose you, Piper? Sliding door. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm gonna take the vase for the ceramics. The clipboard for the spring. Annoy. Oh. Oh. It's a super mutant walking around in that building. Uh-oh. Alright, we don't need that. Boy, those I tell you what, those super mutants, they have good hearing, man. They have really, really good hearing. Really good hearing. Huh. So the place we're looking for is this way. Huh. And beneath us. So we don't necessarily want to be up here. Huh. So yeah, see, definitely super mutants in that building. You see that meat bag there. Oh, hey. What's up, Piper? You're so cool. Can we walk up this? Is this... Can we do this? We can. Oh, this is pretty neat, huh? way up here. Is it always going to be this misty here? This bright? Because I can't see a damn thing. What time is it? Whoops, let's stand up so I can read that thing. It is 4.10 p.m. and it looks like this out here? Man, that is so bright. 
Hmm. So maybe the next building is the one we want to go in? Let's see if there's anything over here. Ah, frag mine. Ooh, soft shell mire lurk. Interesting. Huh, all right, well, we will see what we see in the next episode. I'm gonna take a break here. We'll see if Piper can make our way up here. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, won't you consider leaving a like, and if you're not a subscriber, Ooh, won't you please consider subscribing? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in the next episode.